So what's the treatment of biliary atresia? Well, biliary atresia just doesn't go away. You, don't, you can't do a medicine. It's not like a, a disease that you have, an infection that you can treat. It requires surgery. And if you take a look at everybody who goes for a biliary atresia operation, it's the same thing. What you do is you make an incision in the abdomen, and you take a look. The first thing you do is you take the gallbladder. If there is a little gallbladder left, sometimes the gallbladder or that whole conduit system is scarred. But you try to flush some dye in there and see if, indeed, they have a scarred common um, hepatic duct or bile duct. If they do, then what we do is we cut that out, and then we bring a loop of intestine up to the base of the liver. And at the base of the liver, we actually take a knife and cut right into the hilum, with that, that, that little space where the bile ducts originate from. We cut them. And then if there is bile, what will happen is the cut surface will suddenly show up with these little two, these little dots of bile. And so what our plan would be, it's something called a Kasai operation after a um, Japanese surgeon, is we take a loop of intestine at a certain distance from when it comes into the, in, out from the stomach and duodenum out into the abdominal cavity. We take a piece of intestine and we pull it up into the bed of the liver. And so we have a lumen. A lumen is the opening of the bowel sucked up right into the area that we scored, right into the area that's dripping this bile. And then downstream we rehook up the intestine, so that's all in continuity. So what we're doing is we're draining the base of the liver from the scored area with their bile into the GI tract.